Cooper CPAs, located in the heart of East Nashville, offer a wide variety of tax services for individuals and businesses. Contact them at 615-257-0646 and visit their website, allcooper.com, for a full list of services. Hey guys, welcome to Music Business Daily, where we bring you the hottest news stories of today. That's right. We're going to talk today about George Jones' funeral. We're going to talk about who uh, from what pop duo from the 90s passed away the other day. And we're also going to talk about last week's American Idol. So stay tuned. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Welcome back. I'm Jillian. And I'm Kelly. Our first story of today is pretty exciting. Um, Hugh Laurie is going to be performing on Abbey Road tomorrow, and it's going to be streamed live all the way from Britain. Um, it starts at 7 p.m. Uh, in Brit British time, so that's going to be 11 a.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Central time, and math. 8 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. if you are on the West Coast. It's a lot of math. <laughs> yep, lots me. of I'm glad math. you got that story. Um, he's going to be doing songs from Didn't It Rain, which is his second album that's going to be coming out. Um, and what I really like about this is, so he's a British music artist, but he's playing songs that are blues inspired. So sounds from New Orleans, um, a lot of blues stuff. And he's going to be, some of the songs date all the way back to um, the early Pioneers songwriters, um, which is pretty cool. So like he'll be playing St. St. Louis Blues, um, I Hate a Man Like You, um, and he's going to be doing this in Studio 2, two which was um, home to where a lot of the, Be the Beatles did a lot of their famous recordings. So Very cool. Pretty exciting event, so if you have time tomorrow to go online and uh, watch, uh, watch. Absolutely. Speaking of uh, online, we were just watching the George Jones funeral, which is going on right now here yeah. in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, definitely a legend in country music to be remembered and honored today. Um, as we all know, he passed away last Friday, and they're honoring him here in Nashville just with a with an outstanding lineup of speakers and artists performing. Uh, just a few to include would be Kid Rock, Brad Paisley, Wyona Judd. Um, obviously, quite a lineup there, um, as well as speakers such as Mike Huckabee. Mm -hmm. um, Laura Bush, the former first lady. So um, it's you know in the middle of going on right now. Just it's it's been two hours and there's no telling how long it's going to go, which <laughs> nobody really minds because you know it's just it seems like it's a really amazing event. People yeah. have been lined up since last night to get in the doors at the Grand Opry. So wow. um, we're obviously not there, but we do um, want to say rest in peace to George Jones. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, next up, um, Leah Michelle from she plays a character on Glee who is yes. obsessed with Barbara Streisand. Well, in real life, she is a huge fan of Barbara Streisand, and yeah. she just had her home redone. Um, and her interior designer said that her one instruction was, "Don't touch my Barbara wall." Like she has a wall <gasps> of a like wall, yes, huh? she has a wall cool. dedicated to Barbara with pictures and some different paraphernalia. So um, she had her friend, um, her friend who's an interior designer, Estee Stanley, come in and, you know, just kind of, she wanted a warmer feel for her home and she just said, you can do anything you want, but just don't touch my Barbara wall. Um, and she did not. Um, so um, she also, her favorite part of having her home redone is her friend put in a nice like desk, like a Carrie Bradshaw desk, they said, so that Love she it. can get some work done. So just oh, an exciting cool. little story to share. Awesome. <laughs> I'm about to date myself here because I had a favorite song when I was in third grade and <laughs> it was by the duo Chris Cross makes you want to jump, jump. So um, <laughs> unfortunately, Chris Kelly of that duo passed away um, yesterday. And they actually don't know. Uh, it's, it's an undetermined death right now. They don't know what the, uh, the cause was. But he was found unresponsive yesterday in his home. And when he was taken to the Atlanta Medical Center, um, you know, he didn't make it. So uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, he's only 34, so young. Um, but, you know, lived quite a quality life. He had a hit in 1990, oh, what was that, 1992 that really just, you know, people still remember today. So pretty cool. And, um, you know, we definitely, I feel like I'm talking about death. So uh, I'll, I'll promise my next story will be positive. But uh, rest in peace as well, Chris Kelly. So. Um, well, um, Willie Nelson, I'm sure you all know who he is. 
Uh, it is his 80th birthday week, and Conan mm -hmm. O'Brien has been celebrating on his show all week. And they revealed Willie Nelson's Gandalf audition tape uh, <laughs> for The Hobbit. Uh, <laughs> um, it, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, you can go online and see the audition tape. I watched it. It's just silly. I don't, I don't believe that it's actually serious. Uh, but it's been pretty cool. And then the show, um, last night, his son performed Old Familiar Pain um, from the Wasted album that Willie Nelson did. So, you know, if you have time tonight or tomorrow night, check out the Conan O'Brien show so that you can see what other silly things they have in store to celebrate Willie Nelson's 80th there birthday. Sure. Happy birthday, Willie Nelson. On the Conan <laughs> show, it'll be funny. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, if you've been following American Idol, um, you know that last week nobody went home. We kept the final four, um, which... Uh, is always a cool thing when they don't want to let somebody go because they believe in the bottom two. So um, uh, apparently Amber Holcomb said that she kind of had a hunch to uh, MTV that, that this was going to happen. So even though um, American Idol has said that they threw everybody for a loop, it seems like there was somebody, you know, there. Maybe it was wish, you know, she was one of the ones that was going to get eliminated. So whether it's that optimism or just that belief in, you know, the final four, you know, they wanted to keep them around for another week, which I think is pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, so we'll have to stay tuned this week and see what happens next. But, uh, well, that's all we have for you today yeah. here at Music Business Daily. Um, but we would love to connect with you online or on your mobile app. So we at Talkopolis, you can find us at slash Talkopolis on Facebook. You can also find us at Talkopolis on Twitter. And you can download our mobile app. So <laughs> till next time, have a wonderful day. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city.